Okay. Uh, special thanks to Living Dead Delilah for putting me onto this one. And <laughs> okay. Um, there are certain movies that, in lieu of their glaring flaws, are always going to tick all my boxes. And if there's one thing I've said in the past that I love the most, like when it comes to horror, I love dirty, grimy, nasty, grindhouse style, low budget horror that is like just a big old hodgepodge of crazy ideas that come together to make a ridiculously entertaining cake. And Blood Salvage is definitely that film. This is an entirely obscure film that claims to have come out in 1990, though I suspect this sucker was shelved because this is a movie that has completely gone under the radar. And I, I don't know how, how even they knew about this movie to even come to even recommend this to anyone else, but it's on Tubi and I definitely recommend you watch it. Now, this movie to me is a cake of a lot of horror, like, Grindhouse style low budget horror films that I love, like uh, uh, comes to mind Motel Hell comes to mind with this one. Uh, Mother's Day definitely comes with this one. Toby Hooper's Eaten Alive uh, even has a little bit you know pokes its head in. This these are the kind of this is the kind of movie that you definitely think if uh, Ty West saw it would probably have influenced X because it's just that level. But it's an utterly ridiculous, crazy plot, but yet somehow the story still works. You still got a great cross-section of hillbilly slasher characters, but they're doing something completely different than anything I've ever done. Most of the time they're cannibals. But you got this group who, because they suffered a personal family tragedy, they are kidnapping people harvesting their organs and selling them on the black market because he feels he's doing some kind of altruistic thing to help pe disadvantaged people who can't afford organ transplants. What? Just what? <laughs> the level of absurdity in this story is just utterly sublime. That and I will say the uh, heroine of the piece, April. Now, while I don't believe in a million years that the actress of player is actually 17. That being said, uh, the character is still really awesome. She's one of those heroines who actually does do, whose survival instincts are exceptionally good, though it does hinge on a very ridiculous plot development involving her handicap, but I'm not going to spoil that for you. Uh, add some couple flourishes of boom mics coming into frame, and you've got gold. This is gold. <laughs>